No money, no prospects, no army to speak of. But enough about me, today we're looking at the poorest nation in Victoria 3. Weirdly enough, it's actually situated in Europe. It's a tiny little German microstate and has less than 10k GDP. And we're going to form Germany with it, with a cunning plan called violence. See, in the tiny city state of Schamburg, lip what we lack in wealth we make up for in immorality and guns. There is one nasty thing trying to stop us from achieving our aims of forming Germany, namely the rest of Europe. Oh, and for my own amusement, I'm pretending that you guys are the population of Schaumburg Lip. So uh, if you comment something down below in character, I just think it'd be kind of funny. And whilst you're there, you might as well subscribe. Damn it, so smoothly. <laughs> so as far as I could tell, this is the poorest nation. I'm rather surprised because they are in Europe, but um, Schaumburg Lip with 8.5k GDP. All these guys down here, They've at least got 15, 16, this lot down here, oh, 283,000, that'd be lovely. But yeah, no, we, we don't have that. I even checked these lot. They don't even come close because the sheer quantity of population. Even over here in the Mosquito Kingdom, 14.7k. This is the poorest nation at the start of the game and we're gonna be playing as them and seeing maybe if I can form Germany as them. I'm not looking forward to it. Okay, so we start with 23,000 troops, troops, well, potential troops, uh, men. In our capital state, it's a split state, we have nothing. Iron miner, coal miner, logging camp. That's quite good, because you get a steel factory up and running immediately. We are part of the uh, Prussian market, which is a very, very good thing for us right now, but we're struggling, decent literacy, we should have okay tech at least. Yeah, we do. We don't have to research the lathe. Now, the only issue is we might get annexed by Prussia. And how can I stop that? No, if I were to conquer this, I'd only be fighting Lipe. So I don't, because I'm in the same sphere as everyone else, I don't have to worry about fighting the Prussians. Hmm. Okay, so Hanover's going to split off from England, right? We take Lip because that's uh, more land that we can take control of. And more importantly, that's 77,000 people. Uh, how many do you have? You have one battalion. How many do we have? Zero. Okay. Cool. Hmm. I think we could do that off the bat. We have zero people unemployed. Why? What do they do now? This is going to suck. <laughs> just... Okay, then I think we go after Hanover, realistically, with someone else's help. Okay. For relations with the people surrounding us. I mean, Lip has barracks. I'm assuming they're fully staffed, right? I mean, only a thousand. Okay, so let's get two of those. And we'll make them line infantry, because that's going to be so much better. Okay, we can't afford any cannons. And we're just going to immediately conquer them. Okay, that's the plan. German national identity. Yeah, we'll try, man. We'll, uh, we'll try. Slice make a whole healthy question. I really don't think we're gonna have a say in this one. This is a very strange way to start, I'll be honest. But I think we need to get in there early before they do anything stupid, like build an army to defend themselves. Sand living has decreased. And uh, actually our GDP has as well, wonderful. Okay, it's you, because we're part of the market, I don't think we need to worry about resources. I reckon we go straight in and create something like, the food industry is not a bad shout, let's do that. It'll take 81 weeks. Uh, what they want to do in terms of decrees, green grass campaign, get that migration attraction in. Well, that's about it, there's not really much else we can do. We have interventionism, that's all good. Migration controls, dude, please. I mean, unless you're worried about the, the 23,000 people leaving our province, in which case, yeah, sure, let's keep migration controls in. I think we should be okay. All right, so now we have twice the amount of men, right? 10 defense, 15 defense. All right, guys, <laughs> we're going to do something big here. The issue is, like, zooming in like this, it removes the borders. <laughs> it's not good for us. So we didn't mobilize one battalion as of now, and we need two. Our GDP is rapidly falling. <laughs> this might have been a mistake. I don't think so, though. I think, I think we have to do this, because that'll give us, I mean, we're going to about to quadruple operation to go from 25k to um okay good we're good uh to 100k roughly this is important gdp still falling and falling and falling the play for power yeah i want to be a militarized state we've got cool hats okay let's do it Conquer state no one's leaning anyone but us i did not check oh no i didn't check this okay we're still we're actually fine okay we are so fine crew general don't want to Defensive guy. Imperious, what's that gonna do? Morale well, loss, no. Oh, hedonist, but I don't really want to go defensive, but sure. I'm thinking maybe I should have gotten cannons now. Give me a nation born into war. Are there are two of you. Nice. All right, sweep them aside. Don't know what I was worried about. Excellent. Okay, we did it. We created devastation in our state, but we did it. Hanover has also been released. They only have nine and four. I like I don't hate the idea that we go after Hanover. If I just <laughs> if I just mass mobilize, although everyone's gonna go work in this singular food industry now, aren't they? Now we have 105,000 people. Look at that. Look at our GDP. Oh, that's a good graph. Okay, I'm thinking, let's, I mean, nine and four. Screw it. Three, four, five, six, seven. We'll go into debt for it. There's a little bit of turmoil. That's okay. We're actually joining the battalions quite quickly. Okay, how long do we have for this? Nine months. Nine months. And again, we're, we don't need to produce any arms because we're part of the Prussian sphere. So I think we just run around conquering. I'm not going to worry about 
anything else until we have a decent number of people under our state first. Oh good, rye farms are fully employed. We have one food industries thing. Uh, well, it's actually size two because we conquered one. <laughs> that's that's our main balance. That's great. So it's funding the uh, the great <laughs> Schamburg Leap War Machine. And farms the factory has been <laughs> completed. <laughs> Good to see. Get the armed forces in government considering that's where everyone's employed. What law do you want? Wealth voting. What do we have now? I'm okay with wealth voting. And four, so 13, roughly the same. We have a slight issue. So I tried to declare war on uh, on Hanover, but uh, see if you can spot the issue. Yeah, we don't have an interest up here in, in North Germany and I'm in too deep. I'm really, I'm really in too deep. Um, so what we're gonna have to try and do is become a minor power oh, by increasing the size of our army, which is going to put us close to bankruptcy. I only need a little bit more prestige to become a minor power because we're an insignificant power. We, we only need seven more prestige. So we, yeah, we're going we're gonna to have to try that. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we've got 365 days right now. Oh God, this is, we, like, this is a Hail Mary. We have to win this. Wait for interest to tick up. We have an interest in North Germany. Let us, let us do it, please. I do have an interest in Northern Germany. We don't have time for this. I don't have the money. We're going to go bankrupt if I don't win this war. Like, it has to be the most blitzkrieg of blitzkriegs. Hey, there we go. It's working now. Little chaps, we pray. <laughs> Had to reload a couple of times, but here we are. We've got ourselves wealth voting. And a legitimate government. Wonderful. I mean, this is going to get worse because we're in default, but we still should win because we have overwhelming technological superiority because Hanover's not exactly the most advanced of nations. Obviously, the longer this goes on, the worse it is for us. But for now, at least. Oh my God, we did it. I mean, we're in default and we're probably going to go bankrupt, but we have expanded a significant amount. We're unstable. That's going to be bad. Um, okay, let's let's start trying to fix this economy. Okay, I can't downsize any of the barracks because of this. Okay, I'll check in for your conscience. That'll placate you, right? Okay, good. Now we can start to do it. Oh, that increased our loan size. Oh my God, it's genius. It's 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 absolutely genius from me. I didn't even know I had it in me. I'm going to incorporate this territory because it's only going to take 24 months. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Oh, we're just going to have to hold on for a little bit, basically. Which is fine. We can do that. Now the revolution. That's fine. We just incorporate this land. Okay, this is falling. That's nice. Okay, we just need to turn a profit, which will happen soon. Construction goods is our main expense right now. Okay, that's nice. It's ticking upwards slowly. What laws do you want that I can enact? Dedicated police force? I can do that. I can radicalize the landowners there. I mean, this, I just need to be able to drop taxes and that should hopefully come soon. Our economy is going to stagnate for a while, but I mean, we've been doing pretty well so far. Yeah, we're making money. Okay, this is good. Yeah, that gets rid of the revolution. It's going to radicalize the landowners. That's okay. Making money. German national identity has been done. Okay, nice. There's more powerful German powers such as Prussia. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna go around conquering a little bit more. We got rid of most of our army, but not all of it. Do that as well. Okay, so we've, our economy is more than stabilized. It's pretty good. Uh, we're having a couple of issues like revolutions and stuff. That's that's okay. France has offered for us to join their customs union instead of Prussia's, which isn't a bad idea. The only issue is that this market right now allows us to attack all of these guys, uh, which I kind of want to do. So why I'm not concerned about this revolt, uh, the Prussians will, will help us no matter what. So we'll just crush it real quick and that will enable us to crush the power of the uh, landowners, which is nice. Okay, let's industrially develop a little bit here. And also I should probably start paying my troops a little bit more. They're not stretched across two, are they? I think they might be. Well, that's frustrating. There's North Germany and then there's the Rhine. Okay, so we're gonna need the North Germany and HQ more than the Rhine one. As homesteading, start figuring out what else we want to create. I, I want to make sure I'm not screwed if I have to split off. So a couple more iron mines would not go amiss. Some more coal mines as well. And then let's get a steel mill going. Then after that, we can sort out everything else. That's our industrial base is covered. France likes us, which is good. Because <laughs> I'm starting to think maybe we should be expanding elsewhere. Uh, obviously, we take out the rest of uh, Prussia first, or sorry, Germany. Make us a unification candidate and buddy up with the Frenchies. Yeah, we just have so many troops. It doesn't matter that our offense is 10. I think Hamburg is part of someone else's custody. Okay, so we're not going to get hold of you anytime soon. You're part of the Danish Parcel Union. Okay, so Mecklenburg, Brunswick, and that lot are all next, I think. But Nack Theocracy. No, no. <laughs> Exile you. Our freedom of speech. All right, we've conquered Bremen. Prussia might side with us. <laughs> Appreciate your work. A little bit offensive that these guys are all saying, like, that they think it's even. I mean, it is, like, more even than not. Again, just because the lack of uh, army funding. My complete wanton disregard for the cooldown period. That's because of bullying smaller states. I mean, it's still reputable. 
Austria down here. Let's take the uh, South Germany as well. Okay, there's Brunswick. Okay, it does appear I've annoyed Prussia to the point where they might side against us. So let's not do that for a little bit. Improve relations with uh, with Prussia. Let's settle down. Work on our industry, I think. I've not, research I've not researched the railway. I mean, we're looking pretty good right now. Let's have a look around. Uh, it looks like Texas has been taken out by the US. Uh, Brazil won their wars over here. Pro and a little bit more. Not incorrect. Maybe they, I don't know. Well, it's just that looks a bit jagged to me. Uh, the Qing lost to England and is now, what's that? Losing to the French and Austrians. Yeah, make, make, I mean, that makes sense. Sure. Uh, the Ottomans have cleared the Egyptians out of uh, Palestine and Syria. The French expanding in Algeria. I believe there's some sort of war over here with the Russians getting involved. The only reason I realized is because my economy tanked. I'm, I'm happy with where we're at so far, though. This is a good place to be. If we could take out the Bavarians, I think that, that'll be a, a big next step. Because um, then we'll actually be able to contend with Prussia. But 3.32 million up from 20,000, what, literally like 10 years ago. Pretty good. When does it start? 36, yes, yeah, so it's been about 10 years. That's that's impressive. Oh God, preaching Christian party. Uh, I don't want to become an evangelical Christian, please. You can't make me. Okay, we've got some cash left over. So I think what we need to be doing is creating some universities because we're currently suffering a little bit from a tech deficit. I mean, admittedly, we were focused on other things like not dying, but yeah, terrified. I thought we were being attacked, but no, Pontiniac. Abandoned their support for the Netherlands. The economy's looking strong. Again, that's that is mostly because of the uh <laughs> the Prussian economy, but it's fine. Violently suppress some areas. Yeah, the uh, the guys in my original capital are upset because they used to have like the fourth highest uh <laughs> standard living in the world. And that's quite, sort of gone downhill a little bit. That's that's fine. Russia has ended their rivalry with the United States of America. Good news, guys. World peace is secured. Well, not for Mexico, but otherwise it's fine. Denmark has declared us as the rival. What what the rival? Denmark, just so we can improve relations with the French more. Yeah, anytime I look to expand again. Oh, to claim more interest. Um, I guess anytime I look to expand again. Yeah, the Austrians, Prussians, or Bavarians block me. To the point where I don't really want to risk it because I don't want to die. Like, our army is not the strongest. We scaled very, very quickly at the start and then I immediately got rid of all of our army. Um, so I think what we're going to have to do is strengthen our economy to the point where I can then build up um, a, a larger innovation uh, so I can do, or at least hit the innovation cap. So then we're just massively technologically outstripping others because that's the only way I can really see us doing something. Let's go after the Dutch. Interesting. Okay, we can fight the Dutch. Basically German. The Dutch people watching this in absolute tatters right now. The issue is we're, we're sort of cordial with everyone. This is the problem. I don't really, again, I don't want to move if Prussia is going to take me out because we have too many borders with them that they can just sort of summon troops from. We can't face Prussia right now unless we're 100% guaranteed France is going to back us. I don't really want to waste an obligation with France on this. I saw H-I-L and an R and I panicked when it said it was our new president. I'm not going to lie, but we're good. <laughs> going to run out of labor at some point soon. Apparently these places are all split. What's split? Lip is split, split over here. Where's Elbe? Elbe, Elbe. Split. With who? Oh, Hamburg. Yeah, that's fighting the English. I don't really want to do that. Because when I attacked Hanover, I broke up their market. They all went elsewhere. Take a good look at our economy here. See what else we can... Bump up. Okay, so steel's not doing so hot. The tools are. I, mean, I don't see any reason why we would just spam out tools. Everyone needs them. We're going to be more efficient than everyone else. So this is the number 2000th building. It's also not great as a tooling workshop, but that's fine. Okay, I've just realized why that is. Yeah, this will this will help our competitiveness. We weren't using steel. <laughs> I was wondering why. I was wondering what was going on over there. You're going to see our economy boom now. That was dumb. Okay, that was kind of stupid. Yeah, we just, just summoned another million GDP out of nowhere. Just because our, our workshops were... No wonder the steel wasn't doing anything. Because oh, I used the reset productions thing, but our default production must have been to not use it. Yeah, I think we're in a good place to start building up the army. Do I want to go to technological superiority first? What's this? They're producing Frankfurt. Ooh, they won't join in now. Uh, the wood over there. But some of these states they won't join in on. Like for example, I go after Baden. Okay, everyone's going to come after me. I'll go over Württemberg. Only Württemberg and Baden will go after me. All right, let's start powering this army. You got NASA. I'm assuming you've been subjugated, right? Which is good for me because then I think I can attack you without anyone else getting involved. What the hell is this? France and Prussia? Did you get involved? Oh, okay. So the Prussia did get involved. Frankfurt wants to enter into a defensive pact. Yeah, thanks. No, I don't really want to be involved in this right now. What the hell is that? Why are there like flying books? What the hell's going on over there? It's not right anywhere else. It's just in Baden. They're converting people? Oh, Bavaria's pushing in. What? So they're both non-negotiating participants. So this is my chance to go in against someone. All right, let's start mobilizing a bit more troops then. Maybe we can challenge the Danes. Who knows, for Holstein. Bavaria's getting rinsed. Prussia's holding on this front. Okay, we'll take off NASA off your hands. Yeah, I need to fight that. Wittenberg and Baden together. That's what. Ours should be a little bit better though. Have sorted out our education a bit more. Did they win? They did. Frankfurt's alive. Oh, Austria-Hungary's turned yellow. And Etruria is the thing. I didn't even... 
I didn't even see that. I'm gonna take it out by the French right now. I'm assuming to be annexed. Or is that just I think it's a visual glitch. No, nope, Hindustan arrived and died immediately. I don't I don't hate the fact that Hindustan like is as weak as it is, but I I do mildly get annoyed at the fact that if you play as Hindustan, it's basically impossible because of all the different front lines. You just can't do it. Okay, we're running out of population. We're going to need to go and collect some more later. Well, later, I mean now. Uncle Wuttenberg. I think going to get involved. You do want to get yourself um, a an offensive strategist because look at that. Plus 30% defense this guy's got because he's leveled up because, you know, he's good at what he does. Our troops are just better. Yeah, the Austro-Hungarians are starting to hate us. We need to get buddy-buddy with France as soon as we can. They're all just defensive strategists, which is, to be fair, they're going to be useful against the Prussians, like the West Front and all, but can't believe that Schaumburg Lippe is the is the poorest nation. I, I was terrified because Bahrain starts off with like uh, 10k or 12k. Fortunately, Schaumburg Lippe starts with like 2k, um, sorry, uh, about, yeah, 2, 3k more. Which I'm very pleased about because otherwise I'd be playing as Bahrain and that's just not, that ain't, that ain't fun because the, the local population difference is miserable. Whereas this time, yeah, okay, we've got the Prussian market and yada yada. Yeah, that's not happening um, <laughs> over there. But who knows, if you want to see it, then yeah, I might have to, I might have to, Visit. Why would I demobilize them? I'm trying to demobilize them. I'm trying to fight. How much population are in these? Uh, it's another million there and another million. What's Germany? There's a lot of people. Who knew? Presumably the South Germans. Glad they haven't just joined in this front. No one's fighting on this front. I could fight on this front. Oh, they switched over that side as well. Okay. Well, out of a mistake. Oh, well. Oh, no. Apparently it was a brilliant tactical maneuver. Why are you so low? Oh, you've, you've, all your men have been dead. Okay, yeah. So what's happening here is at the start of the battle, they don't have as many men as they should because uh, they physically don't have that many men. So look, eight, that's meant to be 8,000. See how over here I've got like 5.9 out of six, uh, whereas he has 1.1 out of eight. Uh, yeah, he just doesn't have the men. So we've got eight battalions, but only 1,100 men to finish it, uh, to, to fill them. So that's, that's not great for him. Baden's done, gone, Baden, Baden, Buden. Now we take off. Wartenberg. Wartenberg have declared us their rival. Wonderful. Let's see how long that lasts. Oh, well, they're gone. Five years. Did not anticipate that. Now it looks like Prussia is at war again. Are you fighting three different nations? Zealand Treaty Port, Jutland Treaty Port, Puppet, Denmark. What's this war for? Wait, did Austria declare this war? I think they did. Austria versus Denmark. And Spain's going to try and puppet Denmark. That's horrible for me. That's really bad. I really should have been paying attention. Why is Russia in this war, though? Russia's on the side of Denmark. Okay, Russia and Prussia fight on the same side. They're just both losing to Austria-Hungary. Gotcha. Became a major power. I didn't even realize. Our GDP does stack up quite favorably. We're almost as big as Prussia now. Got a lot of wood and coal. Got, yep, we've got all that. Excellent. So many chemical plants. We have one. Start stacking that up. We're going to need it for later. Uh, we're also going to need We already have two ministry plants. This is great. I mean, our economy has now gone to hell because of the Prussians. But wait, what happened? Yeah, we're still part of the Prussian market. So what just happened? Why did our economy take a nosedive? We'll wait for a little bit so you sort stuff out. We're not at war. Why are we suddenly poor? What the hell happened? Okay, we're fine. I'm just building a lot of stuff. We're still the minus 30k and it's panicked, but it's because we're we're big now. <laughs> I'm still in the, oh, we only have 30k troops in a dream, or 30k men in a dream sort of mindset. Oh, Denmark, buddy. You're trying, and I respect it. You didn't... I'll spend a part of us in Sweden. Vassalize Sweden? Vassalize Sweden? What do you mean, vassalize Sweden? I mean, it's bold, but now the Danes are involved. Why are the Danes involved? The Danes are on the side of the, the Ottomans to vassalize Sweden? Why? <laughs> I ask again, why? So if I were to fight this, just Holstein and Denmark. I mean, yeah, they're gonna be in a, in a sort of pretty sore state. See why we wouldn't do that, to be honest. I actually have to get ourselves a new general. Defense strategy, still defense strategy. I actually have uh, more troops over here in South Germany. I could just puppet Denmark myself. <laughs> I mean, we're only infamous after all, so I mean, the war approach as well. They're fearful, so they might back down. They're also, like I said, they're fighting the Swedes because they're trying to get the Ottomans to vassalize them. Oh, well, the Ottomans, the Constance was fallen, ladies and gentlemen. So I don't think they're going to be doing too much. All right, off we pop. There's a little problem with my uh, my getting to the capital state of Denmark. It's called Schleswig uh, Holstein, uh, or Schleswig at least, and uh, that is a problem. Ottoman Empire and Sweden have signed a peace. I assume not handing over Sweden to the Ottomans. Definitely would not have been allowed at all in any of the theaters of Europe. Minus five of all these different countries. 15 instantly. I'm a better plan. Yeah, I started to build a, a naval base, but it's not work. Like, I'm, I've been sitting there waiting for, for ages. Uh, that war sport's not gonna dip below zero, is it? So I can do this. I'm gonna have to violate sovereignty. Annoying, but can you tell when I started to, to conquer some things? When did, why is that pop Oh yeah, there was the revolution. I was thinking, when did my population suddenly halve? Oh, let's get this war done. Why are, there, why are there different fronts? Yep, they just moved back. So we pushed all the way through because of, I mean, I say it every video. That is a Schwarzburg. They can't get to you, Schwarzburg. Just stand firm. Oh, right, Bavaria. I was meant to go after Bavaria. Why would you do that? Schwarzburg was safe. Now they have a route in. And again, split into three. Why is it split into three over here? Oh, 
God. I wanted to get involved in this war, but I can't because I'm still in this stupid thing. Okay, let's get ready for it when it splits into three. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I got there in time. I got there in time. So when, now it's... <laughs> they're literally stacked on top of each other. Now I can actually push through. Okay, this is good. I don't know what's going to happen with this front line now. We just got to be ready for it. There we go. I think it's unified. There we go. Finally, we've pushed into Denmark proper. There we go. And Denmark is showing up blue. Schleswig is... Independent. I completed the slice for coal sourcing question. Not mean to do that. This is a close war. He says as the Austro-Hungarians take large swathes of territory. <laughs> okay, so this is bad. Prussia is currently at war with Austro-Hungary, but they're also defending Lubeck. Obviously, we're outnumbered quite a bit, and there's not much I can do, but I reckon we could blitz them. Okay, we need to sort out uh, all of this because we've been kicked out of the Prussian market. Bright side, we did plan very well in terms of natural resources we're not too far removed we need to import some coal yeah this is this is kind of desperate now do we have arms industries not many please report operation rush down berlin it was successful uh i think we're in our own market now uh that does isolate the entire prussian market so i think he's made a mistake kicking me out of his market there but that's that's his problem uh our issue is one of population now what a mess of a state that's fine. I need to spend a, a, a long time sorting out our economy now, because uh, we were sort of contingent on the Prussian one for a little while, which also means I let the AI basically manage our import and exports, and now I have to do it manually. And we're also kind of notorious since I nicked uh, Schamburg and help. You have to understand, I needed the population. It really needs grain. We're selling all our tools. That should help with things. Becoming a mercantile nation. This will keep the people happy. Just as I said that. What do you want? You want to enact racial segregation. I don't know that I can accept. Well, actually, no, that's better than national supremacy. So I guess we'll do racial segregation, which is not a soundbite I really want on the internet. But it's a, it, okay. I'm not going to say racial segregation is a good thing, but it's better than what we had previously, which was even worse than that. Bavaria is gone. Bavaria is just straight up gone. Austria Hungary is going to be an issue. Russia now has a much smaller GDP than we do. Yeah, you're definitely going to decrease to uh, major power. I'll see you soon in the rankings, buddy. We should get more of those. Ah, dynamite. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay, uh, here's what I wanted to do. You over right now to dynamite. I'll help our chemical plants. Putting the industry is completed. Excellent. Winds of change. Hess shines like it never did before. Excellent. Get okay, the industrial uh, sector priority. Now I make a decent amount of money. Don't need to import as much anymore. All right, I'm 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 in a happy place right now. What are our shipyards doing? Do we have any shipyards? I don't think we have any shipyards. Also, we don't have any infrastructure. Yeah, we're just even with 12 million people we're suffering with a population issue. How many people in Denmark? Like a million. It's not worth anything. How many people live here? Not enough to justify it. Although here, there's quite a decent amount. God, we've crippled Prussia. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. What about Saxony? How many people live in Saxony? Okay, let's start gathering up the Germans. Ready, Sweden? Really? GDP wise, we are half that of Austria Hungary. They're not really going to be able to do too much. We have tripled the Prussian one though, because again, their economy has, um, yeah, I mean, it was it was looking good for a while, but it's definitely not as good as it once was. Look over here, zero percent access to the Prussian market. All these buildings and all these poor people are just, yeah, getting rinsed. Yeah, I think any country we go after now, we're going to have to fight, uh, face Russia. Saxony, I think, was the last real one we could do that's worth it. Because, like, if there was, like, a million men, then, yeah, sure. Oh, what? what's that? Is that two million? No, it's two million in here, wasn't it? It's the Austrians. I'm not buddy enough with the French. Do anything about it. I'll get back to a positive G. We want a positive uh, balance, as I guess. Uh, get some cash reserves and then we'll start mobilizing an army. And I think we march on Prussia. We become Prussia. And then we'll see what we could do in taking on the Austro-Hungarians. But again, the issue is that everyone hates us. I don't know what the Russians are doing, but they've not really been intervening in, uh, in affairs as much as they usually do. Austria-Hungary's views us as a natural ally. Trade agreement with the Russians. Yes, please. Desperately need that. 525 and become a great power, which actually should happen soon. Their economy grows and we'll join the ranks of everyone else. Then after that, we can go after Prussia. We could even vassalize Sweden <laughs> if we so choose. We need the population in these areas. That'll that's going to be huge. Prussia still has a larger population than us, despite their GDP being oh, that's atrocious. Their GDP is almost the same as their population. <laughs> well, there goes the idea that I could try and be friendly with England. Russia's going off the Rome. Fantastic. They so back down. Ah, oh, so there's a little enclave here in Rome, but uh, nothing else. The only thing that makes me nervous is the amount of different front lines this is going to create. All right, here we go. We need to not rec recruit another North German general. Split it into three. So I'm defending on all fronts where I don't think I could definitively win. Okay. <laughs> I think they left and went into this front, which is good because they were about to rip through my lines. Okay, very technically, we're losing this war. If you want to take technically as we're, we're losing this war. Yeah, don't have to do this, but let's start activating some conscripts, start summoning the boys, start evening out some numbers here. Uh, 
We'll both look at to conquer each other here, so this is kind of definitive. Hey, is there anything you can do? Can I get the 30% bonus? Okay, I think we just got it. 15%. They're so not that powerful. Okay, okay, that's, this is this is interesting. They can't fulfill their equipment as well, because I'm pretty sure that their arms industries... Yeah, look, their arms industries are mostly over here, so the munition plants. <laughs> Which is why our stats are so, like, beneficial in our favor. <laughs> because they physically can't fill in the factories. Yeah, they don't, they don't really have any arms industries. I mean, their navy's better than mine, but... I don't think that matters. Yep, yeah, okay, cool. If we just hold off the larger forces, we're going to sneak in. Prussia embargoing us? Oh, that's not very nice. All right, excellent. We've uh, we've taken the uh, the west now. Now we get the fun part, because I don't trust the resetting. Uh... See, look, the resetting set it, sent us back to picks and shovels. Right, let's let things get adjusted. We're actually a major power now, which does make sense. Need lead and some steamers. Right, I'm going to start forcing people to use more uh, automation. It's going to cost us a lot initially, but that's going to free up more people to go and work elsewhere. Because again, population issues. Conquer Gotland. Oh, and, and France wants to subjugate Sweden. This, this seems excessive. And I can't support Sweden because they hate me. Hell, alright, give me something. I'll lean your way. Throw me a bone. Oh, Russia is going the other way. This is a massive war. <laughs> Wait, this is a massive war. All right. Go ahead and get this shrapnel artillery. On the bright side, this wall looks like it's going to last a while. Good, because it gives us time to build up. The beauty of this is that the Austro-Hungarians, the French, and the Russians are all negotiating participants. So, shouldn't just peace out. Oh, God, they did. And, oh, God, that's horrible. Okay, so that, there goes that plan of... of of thumping on them like that. Do a quick Moroccan GDP check. To be fair, 5.5, not terrible. Let's have a look at Tunis, which has been invaded by the French. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, uh, approaching <laughs> just pre-losing the Ottoman Empire levels. Our economy has just gone boom, which is nice. We're on par with the Austro-Hungarians now, and our army should match theirs very soon. All right, let's go after Bavaria. Huh, German leadership. Sure, let's do that as well. There, we have gotten a bit unlucky here. It does look like the Ethiopian state of Shiwa has, <laughs> has joined in. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, that's not good. Uh, let's send in troops on that front. There's a lot of them up there, actually. I'm gonna have to send off more troops. Uh, you, nope. There's a lot of them up in Denmark. I did not anticipate that many to turn up. Muster every man to defend his home because the Kingdom of France has decided uh, they're gonna come after us. 15% offense, defense is no longer being provided. That's rough. That's very rough. What can we do to What can we do to make you happy? Okay, I can get 10. Right, what do you want? National Guard. Should we can get some uh, colonial. Uh, exploitation going. Patriotic fervor has been activated. Excellent. I'm not exactly sure where these battles are taking place up here. It's like right at the north tip. Fortunately, that has distracted his army enough uh, that we could just sort of march into the center of Austria-Hungary. So we get him to renounce the German leadership, which is going to be nifty. Uh, but unfortunately, at the cost of infamy, because we are taking uh, Bavaria here uh, and Franconia, which is 5 million population, which we do need. Are we taking Vienna? It is. That is Vienna. Okay, now there are two fronts up here. Denmark's a weird one. I don't ever want to be here. Then the numbers are like they they look bad in some cases, but that's because it's like tiny Italian states and also Shiwa that are really helping to bolster the numbers. They can summon a bunch of uh, garrisoned or sorry conscripted troops, but it doesn't really help them. Okay, Medena's left. Three to four. Here we go. We're also liberating Bohemia. It's a decent victory there. A very important victory actually. Hmm. Starting to take a familiar shape, it would appear. Okay, what I do want to do, firstly this, because then I can go over here, dynamite going. I want to do sulfite pulping, because I need to get rid of the dye situation. It's kind of hefty for us. Okay, that's that sorted out. Still got a shortage of dye, but that's okay. Import from the Japanese, apparently. Look at synthetics. Start doing that. German leadership. The sole realistic option of German unification. Any northern... Jo oh my god, we've just... That, that's why we look familiar. We just annexed uh, Prussia. I was wondering what the hell happened. We're actually going to do it, aren't we? I am very excited for this. Oh god, it went brown. That's a shame. We had a lovely color before. Get these states returned to us. That actually has shot up our economy. The rival that of France. Saxony's split. I think once we get Saxony, we can just form Germany. We have to face France to make that happen, though. Japanese suddenly have a massively open market. Very happy with this. Loads more troops that I didn't even realize were a thing. Rhine HQ needs to load more as well. It works for the Rhine. Hey, we've taken Mecklenburg. Austria Hungary's getting absolutely dogged on. Dutch embargoing is actually very painful. Where I got most of my dyes from. What I mean by innovation cap. So we're currently generating 151 each week, which is very, very good. Uh, but it's 161 uncapped. So if we increase the amount of our populates uh, are literate, then we can basically do more science, uh, which is how we beat the Austro-Hungarians because we were very far ahead of them in, uh, in military tech. So they're generating over there uh, 7, 8, uh, 78, right? So every week we have almost 50% more research than they do. So, I mean, yeah, over over time, it does add up a lot. I don't know what this is going to do, but let's launch Unification Play, because I could just form it. I want to launch Unification Play. I don't know what it's going to... Yeah, no idea. We'll find France. 
But I think that's just going to give us Bohemia. I don't know why we're fighting the uh, the Japanese Shogunate. I'm just going to clean up, clear up all of these. Oh, it's going to it's going to give us Alsace Lorraine as well. Okay, well I don't want to take anything else because that that's like those are nice borders. Yeah, the Bohemians haven't had a chance yet to sort out their army. So if I go over to the barracks, they ain't looking too hot, <laughs> and they got penalties. Playing out weirdly historically this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, off we go. Absolutely rinsing the French. Oh, sweet Jesus, the Japanese Shogunate's turned up. Are they that good at fighting? They're not bad, you know. I mean, the Danes are throwing themselves at them, but still. Sugar and die. Okay, well, we can do synthetics, which is going to give us a load of die. How much are we missing in die? Oh, like 300. I want to up a military budget as well. Yeah, we need to win this Bohemian one as quickly as possible, just because we need more men on the Belgian front. Just not something I thought I'd say. Oh, we're pushing into France. Now, to be historical, we need to uh, we need to surround Paris. Jesus, the Japanese being here is not historical. Yeah, they're gonna be pushing in soon. All right, Bohemia's done. Okay, we might we might just get away with this one. Snowballing is such a huge thing in Victoria Three, man. Look at that. Our GDP has gone up by a million every week. Like we far outstrip the uh, the French right now. Colonial exploitation. Hooray. It's like the Germans in real life. We get we form a federation. We're suddenly like, well, everyone else is colonizing. I, I kind of want to do it. It's very bold of you, Denmark, to, to try and throw yourself against 162 uh, Frenchies. Uh, it's good. It's good stuff. I was looking around. USA and Mexico have their historical, I say historical, modern borders. Uh, the British Raj Hyderabad is free. That's nice. You probably have absolutely nothing going for you. Yeah, your only thing is a trade center. You know, good for you. Bigger? I can't put my finger on that. Punjab is smaller. Japanese are getting involved in uh, in affairs. Oh, all right, that's why, because they've got a defensive fact. Okay, this is a strategic objective. Let's go for France. Right, so what's this pulling up? They're pulling more troops from I don't know where. That's right, crawl towards Paris, boys, crawl. Two Sicilies are done. Pitch late, come on. Yeah, that's right. You're close. Everyone wants to trade with us now. That's nice. A movement to enact mass conscription. I mean, we're on the outskirts of Paris now. Okay, starting to trickle down. What's this? Saxon proletariat revolt. Is it because I had troops with Austria? Is that why I'm not... Um, facing them. I'm, I'm glad, don't get me wrong. I don't. I really don't want to be facing Austria-Hungary. Japanese Shogun are done. Oh, France will just do it. Dude, just accept. You don't want to fight this. 700, 724. Where are they from? I think they're all French. That's just how many he's got. I think he's just mass conscripted people in. This could be a problem. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> We're good. Well, let's form the nation of Germany then. There we go. German unification. Through blood and iron, through diplomacy and guile, Germany is united as day of triumph and of reflection. However, the future unfolds. The German state will surely play a leading role in the fate of mankind. We do. All right, well, starting out from a tiny little state that no longer exists. I can't even remember where our capital was. It was somewhere over here. From those first little things, the uh, the, the the default attacking. Pretty good, pretty good idea in hindsight. It didn't look like it was going to be. Uh, to form a nation of Germany. So that's going quite well. I will say that's a much easier game, even though they are the poorest nation than somewhere like Bahrain, uh, which is having a bad time and their GDP is 4.79 because it's split in two. So if you want to see me play as the hardest nation in Victoria 3, do make sure to like the video and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to my Patreons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JDAL52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click on it.